Son and of the Holy Spirit, <clears throat> I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The first glorious mystery of the resurrection. He is risen, he is not here. Behold the place where they lay him. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The second glorious mystery of the Ascension. So then the Lord, after he had spoken to them, was taken up into heaven, and sits at the right hand of God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in foreign tongues, even as the Holy Spirit prompted them to speak. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The fourth glorious mystery, the Assumption. And a great sign appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, and the moon was under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The fifth glorious mystery, the coronation. Thou art the glory of Jerusalem, the honour of our people. The hand of the Lord hath strengthened thee, and therefore thou shalt be blessed for ever. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry for a banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this veil of tears. Turn then, O most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the reward of eternal life, grant we beseech thee that meditate on these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. For the same Christ, our Lord. Amen.
My eyes are always on the Lord. He rescues my feet from the snare. Turn to me and have mercy on me. For, my, for I am alone and poor. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. We offer this Holy Mass to the glory of God, and we offer it praying for uh, today, praying for our parish, for the communities in which we live and serve. And so, brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, author of every mercy and of all goodness, who in fasting, prayer, and almsgiving have shown us a remedy for sin, look graciously on this confession of our loneliness that we, who are bowed down by our conscience, may always be lifted up by your mercy. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. The reading from the book of Exodus. God spoke all these words. He said, I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery. You have no gods except me. You shall not make yourself a carved image or any likeness of anything in heaven or on earth beneath, or in the waters under the earth. You shall not bow down to them or serve them. For I, the Lord, am your, your God, am a jealous God, and I will punish the father's fault in the sons, the grandsons and the great-grandsons of those who hate me. But I show kindness to thousands of those who love me and keep my commandments. You shall not utter the name of the Lord your God to misuse it, for the Lord will not leave unpunished the man who utters his name to misuse it. Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. For six days you, you shall labour and do all your work. But the seventh day is a Sabbath for the Lord your God. You shall do no work that day, neither you nor your son nor your daughter nor your servants, men or women, nor your animals, nor the stranger who lives with you. For in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, and the sea and all that these hold. But on the seventh day he rested. That is why the Lord has blessed the Sabbath day and made it sacred. Honour your father and your mother, so that you may have a long life in the land that the Lord your God has given to you. You shall not kill. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbour. You shall not covet your neighbour's house. You shall not covet your neighbour's wife, or his servant, man or woman, or his ox, or his donkey, or anything that is his. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to Response to the psalm, You, Lord, have the message of eternal life. You, Lord, have the message of eternal life. The, Lord, the law of the Lord is perfect, to be right to the soul. The rule of the Lord is to be trusted, it gives wisdom to the simple. You, the precepts of the Lord are right, they gladden the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, it gives light to the eyes. You, Lord, have a message the fear of the Lord is holy, abiding for ever. The decrees of the Lord are truth, and all of them just. You, Lord, have a message They are more to be desired than gold, than the purest of gold. And sweeter are they than honey, than honey from the comb. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. While the Jews demand miracles and the Greeks look for wisdom, here we are preaching a crucified Christ to the Jews an obstacle that they cannot get over, to the pagans madness, but to those who have been called, whether they are Jews or Greeks, a Christ who is the power and the wisdom of God. For God's foolishness is wiser than human wisdom, and God's weakness is stronger than human strength. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. Whoever believes in me will never die. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, glory to you, o Lord. Just before the Jewish Passover, Jesus went up to Jerusalem, and in the temple he found people selling cattle, sheep, and pigeons, and the money changers sitting at their counters there. Making a whip out of some cord, he drove them all out of the temple, cattle and sheep as well, scattered the money changers' coins, knocked their tables over, and said to the pigeon sellers, Take all of this out of here and stop turning my father's house into a market. Then his disciples remembered the words of Scripture, Zeal for your house will devour me. The Jews intervened and said, What sign can you show us to justify what you have done? Jesus answered, Destroy this sanctuary, and three days I will raise it up. The Jews replied, It has taken four to six years to build this sanctuary. Are you going to raise it up in three days? But he was speaking of the sanctuary that was his body. But when Jesus rose from the dead, his disciples remembered what he had, that he had said this, and they believed the scripture and the words he had said. During his stay in Jerusalem for the Passover, many believed in his name, and when they saw the signs that he gave, but Jesus knew them all and did not trust himself to them. He never needed evidence about any man. He could tell what a man had in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We hear in our Gospel passage today of the account of the moment when the Lord Jesus came to the temple in Jerusalem and cleared it from all the corrupt merchants and money changers who were doing their business in the courtyard of the temple. The Lord was furious and all of those merchants and money changers were openly doing their business and cheating the people of their hard-earned money right to the very place where God himself placed his dwelling in the world. A business itself, by its nature, is a profit-making action, but it was likely given the context of the time that the merchants and the money changers had been charging the people unfairly for their services. It is this unfairness in the actions those people took which led to the Lord striking them out of the temple for their vices and injustice. When those merchants and money changers cheated their customers, it was a violation of the commandment of the Lord do not steal, and do not covet what belongs to your neighbours, among others. And it not only showed contempt on one's fellow brothers and sisters, a disregard for the commandments regarding our relationship with our fellow man, but even more so, by what happened, they had disobeyed the Lord, tarnished his name and the holiness of his house and sanctuary. And the Lord cast out all the merchants and the money changers from the temple courtyard. He also chose the chief priests and the elders who challenged him and questioned his authority of doing all these things, that he would destroy the temple and raise it up in three days. While well, those who were listening to him really thought that Jesus was referring to the physical temple of Jerusalem, he was in fact referring to himself as the temple of God, as he is the Son of God, the Son of Man, where the divine word has been incarnate in flesh and born of man. And it is a prefigurement of the crucifixion, when the Lord will lay down his life and therefore be destroyed in that physical self through death. The destruction of the temple as mentioned, and which was also symbolically represented by the tearing of the veil of the Holy of Holies, when the Lord died on Good Friday. All of these show to serve that the temple is no longer just a physical temple in Jerusalem. But in fact, he's referring to the Lord himself, present in the church and in all of us. The Lord reminds us all that as we are, that we are all part of the church, the same body of Christ, partaking in the Mass, which is our Lord's own precious body and blood. We have ourselves become the holy temple of God's presence. Since Paul spoke of our bodies being the temple of the Holy Spirit, 
How should we keep it immaculate and clean, pure and free from the corruption of sin, for our generation, for our, for our genuine faith and our dedication to God? Amen. Amen. We believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The commands of the Lord are clear, but his mercy is great. Let us pray to our Father, trusting in his wisdom. For the Catholic Church may guide her members in the paths of goodness and bring them closer to God's love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy. Hear that we may learn to turn away, turn away from sin with all our hearts, remaining obedient to God's law. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, that those who do not believe may yet hear the word of God and be brought to eternal salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. But during this holy season, we may recognize the crucified Christ as the power and wisdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We continue to pray for those in hospital and hospices, nursing and care homes, remembering those who have asked us to pray for them. Margaret Higginbottom, Madeleine Rimington, John Bally, Iris Pierce, Carol Gravy, Rosemary Stapleton, Stephen Ripper, Carmen Holtzman, David Hopkinson, Michael Bulmer, David Garton, Joyce Waller, Joan Mullins, Grant Keenan, Angela Ellis, and Kevin Newton. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may enjoy eternal life through the crucified and risen Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We commend ourselves and all God's faithful children to the intercession of the saints in heaven. But especially we ask the prayers of Mary, ever Virgin Mother of God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Almighty Father, in wisdom you have revealed your law. In mercy you give us grace to fulfil it. Hear the petitions of your people gathered in the name of your Son, who lives and reigns for ever and ever. 
O Jesus Christ, he said to your apostles, My peace I give you, my peace I leave you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and mercifully grant her grace and mercy through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed Blessed you, God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, through the divine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. and sisters of my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. Be pleased, O Lord, with these sacrificial offerings, and grant that we who beseech pardon for our sins may take care to forgive our neighbour through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. And lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by your gracious gift each year, your faithful await the sacred Paschal feasts with the joy your minds may endure. So that more eagerly intent on prayer and on the works of charity, and participating in the mysteries by which they have been reborn, they may be led to the fullness of grace that you bestow on your sons and daughters. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Glory, 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 Lord, God of power and might. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You 
Why indeed, holy O Lord, and all you have created, right to give you praise? For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, gracious and make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. On the night he was betrayed, he, <coughs> he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith. Dying, you destroyed our faith. Rising, you destroyed our Lord Jesus, come glory. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving his holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognize him in the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to your Son. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, we may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect. Especially the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints and whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servants, Jonathan, our bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself for your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. <coughs> Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Oh. 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. For when anyone who drinks it says, The Lord, the water I shall give will become in him a spring welling up to eternal life. Body of Christ.
Let us pray. As we receive the pledge of things yet hidden in heaven and are nourished while still on earth with the bread that comes from on high, we humbly entreat you, O Lord, that what is being brought about in us in mystery may come to true completion through Christ our Lord. Amen. Direct, O Lord, bow down for the blessing. Direct, O Lord, we pray the heart of your faithful and in your kindness grant your servants your grace that abiding in the love of you and their neighbour, they will fulfil the whole of your commands through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks.